Good morning, everyone. Now, I appreciate that a lot of what you're about to be briefed on, you may already know about, but please bear with me because we have some new and potentially very important information. As you already know, on Thursday, the 23rd of February at 10.45 a.m., a square mile of London's financial district erupted in what can only be described as a spontaneous inferno. Now, the area that stretches from Cheapside to Bishopgate up to Moorgate Tube were completely enwrapped in flames. Terrorist suspects are looking unlikely. The real IRA denounced the attacks immediately, and last night, Al-Qaeda did the same. Also unknown to us are the total number of casualties, but early estimates suggest that over 35,000 people have perished. But yet, with over 150,000 people working the area, that number is set to rise dramatically. Any questions so far? Good. Now, if that wasn't enough for us to be faced with, something else has come up. In the last 48 hours, no less than 13 relatives of people caught in the fire had reported they received a phone call just seconds before the fire took out half the city. Same what? Well, in each case, the caller was a relative or a loved one who said just one thing before they died. Rothsko. Just that one word. Just that. Just Rothsko. What is it? I mean, is it a name? Is that Russian? Let him finish. Carry on, Parker. Some only just said it once. Some repeated it three, maybe four, five times. But all they said each time was just that one word, the Rothsko. It's got to be a hoax. This is some remote CCTV footage taken of 32-year-old Lorenzo Inzaghi who made a phone call to his brother just seconds before the fire destroyed St Bart's. Then. I hate to say it, but Morgan's right. He could be saying anything. Yes, but we also found this footage. That's Paula Kemp, who left a voicemail for a boyfriend. Just five seconds before burning to death. Listen, I don't need to tell you how important it is that we keep this as quiet as possible and away from the press. This country is already terrified and the eyes of the world are on us and we don't need any more fear to fan the flames. It's our job to find out who or what Rothsko is and why half of London is burning. 